I started painting on the age of uh, 14 and I was very determined since that early age and uh, actually I think uh, I was very lucky because my, my parents were both supporting me about the, uh, this idea and the only thing was that my father was concerned it was going to be like, you know, too difficult. I told him that I already knew that, that was it. I did my first exhibition at the age of 15. I started doing uh, exhibitions and studying uh, in Buenos Aires, where I'm from, and then uh, we moved to LA. Uh, my mother got a job there, so part of my family moved to LA. Uh, and so I did also the university there, and you know, I started doing more exhibitions in Los Angeles first and I became like a coordinator of artists and I started doing exhibitions around like you know Europe and Korea, Japan and places like that and you know for me traveling was very inspiring. Um, another thing that inspires me a lot is music. Yeah, I'm very eclectic with music it's just that I can be listening to either Gothic music or Mozart or any kind of you know music from my country, whatever it is. And um, the difference is like you know the starting point is faster. I don't know how to explain. And then uh, when I need to focus on something, then I play Mozart. And um, actually, it's also been inspiration lately opera, which is something that I started a new series working uh, on Wagner and I'm working on that and uh, I think that would be actually something that I would love to, to explore in the future. It's funny how people tell me you know, how lucky I am to be an artist and they see the fun part of it they don't see the other part, which is not so much fun. Sometimes it's a lot of struggling, and but still, you know, I love what I do. The other thing that I, I think is uh, important is artists have a way to communicate uh, and express, and uh, to people that even the language is. It can be a barrier, like you know, I, I happened to be in uh, Korea, it was an exhibition of eight artists from different countries and I had to work with an artist from Japan. She didn't speak English, I didn't speak Japanese. How is this going to work? And the good thing was that, you know, I look at her, she looked at me, thinking what are we going to do? Then we start painting and the mirror was great. I think, you know, that itself is a language. Colors, uh, a lot of people sometimes ask me about colors, why I paint with reds and yellows and warm colors in general. I can make something up which doesn't make any sense. I search for something spiritual, you know, spirituality. Uh, more so than religion. Then people ask me things like, you know, how come I don't uh, paint uh, with features and faces of people? And I think it's it's to leave a, a little bit of mystery in a, in my art. It's interesting, more interesting than than saying everything to the viewer. I think the viewer has to also be part of it. I, uh, I don't want to, that's why I, I also don't put any titles in my paintings because uh, if I put a title in a painting I feel like I am directing you to looking at the painting in a certain way. My goal would be basically working on, on also set design which is something that I, I want to explore a little more. I started two years ago. Uh, after I got a grant in New York and um, I actually did only two uh, so far. One was about La Traviata, 
and the other one was memory is a um, culinary affair. My goal will be to spend time making art, whether it's painting or doing set designs, um, exhibiting, doing charity events, and actually that's the best way I know how to communicate with people.